For humankind, drawing seems almost as natural as walking. The first human art was drawing. On the walls of ancient caves have been found renderings of animals and other aspects of prehistoric life. Artists throughout history have used drawings to record events, tell stories, and promote their culture. There are many different types of drawing, and nothing seems to escape an artist's eye. People draw for many reasons. Drawing is used by engineers, illustrators, architects, and artists. Sometimes artists are studying the way something looks or is put together. Artists are curious people. Others use drawing to plan out compositions for paintings or other artworks. Many artists use drawing to express abstract ideas, strong feelings, or even their inner demons. Drawings can be made with just about anything. There are some traditional tools, like pencils, charcoal, or crayons. These are known as dry media. You can even use an eraser to draw. Artists also use ink, paint, and watercolor to make drawings. Each of these media create different visual effects. Those artists who are a bit rebellious try all kinds of things to make drawing. Richard Long uses mud, Picasso used light, and Sai Guo Chang even uses gunpowder. Using different styles of lines can make your drawings more visually dynamic. Whether delicate, thick, thin, curvy, or bold, lines help create and contain form. Artists can use shading to create an illusion of three dimensions in their drawings, or play with contrast between light and dark to create drama. Drawing is a great way to show the texture of objects. The texture can also be used in an abstract way. There are some drawing exercises artists use to help them observe better or to warm up. One is contour drawing, where the artist tries to define the form just by using edges or surface lines. Another fun exercise is to do the same thing without looking at the paper. This is called blind contour drawing. Gesture drawings are quick drawings where artists try to capture movement and the energy of a figure. It may seem that someone who can draw well has some special magic power. But artists have techniques that help them make their drawing look the way they want. When you practice your drawing, try to see what you are drawing as a series of basic shapes. Put those shapes together first and then add the details. This will help you get the proportions right and allow you to see the way the form really looks. Remember, draw what you see, not what you think you see. Like anything, to become good at drawing it takes practice and a willingness to experiment. Whether you use drawing to help you become a better observer, or skilled in rendering objects, or whether you use drawing as a media to express yourself, remember there are no limits on drawing. Stick with it, and soon you will be happy with your progress.